Now you have learned about linear functions and exponential functions, this video is about distinguishing between different types of functions by looking at their graphs, their equations, and their tables. We're going to actually look at three different types of functions, linear, exponential, and a new kind called quadratic. Now, let's review linear real quick. A linear equation is in the form y equals mx plus b. You'll learn more about that later. Just know that the x and the y stay the same and the m and the b values change. So here's some examples of the linear equations. y equals 2x plus 5. Remember you learned that y equals some constant is also a linear equation. So y equals 6. And using function notation, f of x equals 1 half x minus 12. Remember, f of x just means y. These are all examples of linear equations because the highest power on your x, or your independent variable, is 1. We never write that one down, but it's there. So these are linear. Remember that exponential equations are in the form y equals a times b to the x. And what makes them exponential is that exponent is an x. So some examples, y equals 2 raised to the x, y equals 12 times 1 half raised to the x. Or using function notation, f of x, which is just y, equals 6x. These are all exponential because they all have an x as an exponent. And then we've got another uh, function called quadratic, and its standard form is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. You're going to learn a lot more about that in unit 8 at the end of the year, but right now, just know that the x's and y's stay the same and the a, b's and c's change. So here's some examples. y equals 12x squared plus 4. y equals negative x squared plus 2x. And using function notation, f of x equals 2x squared plus 4x minus 5. Now what these all have in common is the highest power on the x variable or the independent variable is a 2. If your highest power on x is 2, that is a quadratic equation. So I'm going to give you equations, and you're going to have to tell me, is it linear, exponential, quadratic, or neither? I'm also going to give you graphs. Now, if you have a graph that looks like one of these, either it's going up in a straight line or going down in a straight line or straight across left to right, that is a linear function. Linear means straight line. Remember exponential, starts out kind of slow and goes up really fast, or goes, really down, goes down really fast and kind of levels out. Those are exponential. Quadratic functions look a little different. They look like a U almost, except they flare out, or they could look like a hill. Those are quadratic functions. And I'm going to give you graphs, and you're going to have to tell me which it is, linear, exponential, or quadratic. I'm also going to give you tables. Now remember a linear table. You're looking for a constant rate of change, a common difference. So you're looking for your x values to all go up or down by the same amount and your y values to all go up and down the same amount using addition or subtraction. It has a constant rate of change which is called a common difference. Remember exponential your x values are all going to go up or down with addition, but your y values are going to go up by multiplication or down by division. That is called a common ratio. Now quadratic, when you first look at it, um, it looks like it doesn't have any pattern at all. Okay, my x's go up by 1 here, but look, my y's uh, go up by 16, up by 8, up by 0, uh, down by 8. So it doesn't look like any sort of a pattern. But before you write this off, I want you to find the second difference. That is the difference of the differences. So from 16 to 8, you're going down 8. From 8 to 0, you're going down 8. From 0 to 8, you're going down 8. So find the second difference. If you have a constant second difference, then your table is models quadratic functions. All right, so now we've done um, equations, graphs, and tables, and I want to also look at word problems, but we're only going to distinguish between linear and exponential in word problems. Now remember linear. You're looking for a rate of change in a word problem that is the same every single time. 
So in this one, uh, Sam has $500. He also makes $9 an hour taking tickets at Sporting Park. Let X be the number of hours worked. Let Y be the amount of money he has earned. Could this situation be modeled by linear or exponential functions? Well, every single hour I make $9, or Sam makes $9. First hour, he makes 9 Second hour, he makes 18 uh, third hour, he makes $27. So he is going up by $9 each hour. He's adding $9 every single hour he works. So this has to be linear. So if he starts out with $500 and he makes $9 an hour, this is what my equation would look like, and it would indeed be linear. Now, how many hours must Sam work to learn earn at least $1,000? Well, I want his total to be 1000 so I'm going to replace Y with 1000 and then I'm going to solve this. And when I do, I find out that he has to earn at least, I mean, he has to work at least 55.55 hours. So I'm just going to round up and say, hey, he's got to work 56 hours to earn $1,000. All right. If, what if we have something like this? Stevie put $500 in an investment that doubles its value every year. Could this situation be modeled by linear or exponential function? Well, double. Double means multiply by two, doesn't it? Just like triple would be multiply by three. So every single year, I'm doubling that amount of money. I'm multiplying by two. Well, if I'm multiplying each year, that is exponential. So I start out with $500, and my rate of change is two. It's exponential. I'm going to put an X in the exponent. That would be my equation and it is indeed exponential. Then I want to know how much she would make after five years, so I'm going to replace that x with a five, and I'm going to solve this, and I'm going to get that she, in five years, is going to have $16,000, which is a really awesome investment. Okay, I think that you've got the information that you need.